welcome to the next session of answers apdl in this session we are solving another numerical on the topic of shear force and bending moment diagram for a beam here you can see that this beam ae is having a hinge support at b and a roller support at d at point a c and e there is point load applied so let's get started i'll first go to preferences structural okay pre processor element type add edit delete add beam to node okay close then i'll go to material properties material model structural linear elastic isotropic i'll choose the value of young's modulus as 2e5 and the value of poisson's ratio as 0.3 next i'll go to sections beam common sections i'll give the value of breadth as say 20 and height as say 20 okay next i'll go to modeling create key points in active cs my first key point is at 000 Second key point, I can see here that this distance is two meter. That is two thousand mm. So I'll write here two thousand. Next, I'll go to node three. I can see that this point C is at six meter from the start. So that is six thousand. Fourth node, that is D. Is at a distance of nine meters from the start, so this will be nine thousand. And the last node E is at twelve meter, that is twelve thousand mm from the first node. So these are the five nodes plotted. Next, I'll go to lines, lines, straight line. I'll click on one node at a time, but I'll click one and two for the first line. Then I'll click on two and three for the second line, three and four for the third line, and this is the fourth line. Okay. Next I'll go to meshing, size controls, manual size, global size, number of divisions I can say take as ten. Okay. Then I'll go to mesh, lines, pick all. my meshing is done i can go to plot controls numbering and choose the element numbers so i can see all the elements that have been created on the beam next i'll go for application of loads define loads apply structural now when i look at this figure at b and d there is hinge and roller respectively i'll choose displacement on key point at point b okay since it is hinge i'll take ux uy uz rotation about x and y all as zero apply so this is for the point b i have applied hinge now i will leave point c and i'll go to the point d here i'll apply roller For roller only U Y is supposed to be set to zero. So here is U Y. Okay, this is set to zero. Next, I'll apply forces on key point. I'll start with A. Okay. At node A, there is one kilonewton downwards. So I'll change F X to F Y and minus one thousand. Okay. Next, I'll apply on the key point C. Here I can see it is 2.4 kilonewton downwards. Okay, 2400 newton. Apply, and at point E, I will apply a force of 1500. So loading is complete. 
now i'll go to solution solve current ls okay solution is done close it then i'll go to post processing plot results deform shape deform plus undeformed okay so i can see the deformation in the beam and the white color over here of the beam shows the undeformed one next i can go to contour plot nodal solution degree of freedom displacement vector sum i want to see the deformed shape with the undeformed model okay so i can see the deformation here i can also see the stress in nodal solution i'll go to one minus stress okay so this is the stress on the beam now i want to see the shear force in the bending moment diagram so i'll go to element table define table add by sequence number 3 apply again i'll choose by sequence number 6 by sequence number 16 by sequence number 19 okay close this i'll go to plot results contour plot i'll choose line element resolution if i want to see my bending moment diagram this is 3 i'll choose here 16 okay so this is my bending moment diagram and here i have the solution by the graphical method and numerical calculations so you can see exactly the same graph is what i get here also if i want to see the sfd i'll choose 6 and 19 okay so i can see here this is the sfd now here if you want to match the values you can see here for reading this value you can see this is the color yellow and this light yellow is indicated by 1011 newton which means it is 1 kilo newton this blue one is shown here at this point as uh, 423 kN which means it is 0.4 we have 0.67 approximately as the value here in this third one you can see this red color the value is 1728 which is 1.7 kN approximately correct and the last blue color over here is minus 1500 which is minus 1.5 kN you can see here the values are correct so you can just check these values and you can compare with the solution so with this i end the session i hope you have understood the process of solving this numerical if you have any doubts please write to me in the comment section see you in the next session with another numerical thank you mm -hmm.